Drake has been doing his quarantine in a pretty lavish way by the looks of it, but I wouldn't expect anything less from him. In his music video for 2C Slide that just dropped, he treated us to an up close look of his mega mansion. From the swimming pools both inside and outside, the marble floors and walls, high ceilings and more, Drake's Toronto mansion is fit for a king. In this video, we're going to take a look at his bridal path estate, give you all the details and much more. Aubrey Drake Graham, who we all know as Drake, is a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, actor, businessman and more who hails from Toronto, just like me. Before Drake signed to Young Money back in 09, he was known as Jimmy on the TV show Degrassi. He then left to pursue his music career, which was clearly a wise decision. At the time of this recording, Drake is 33 years old. It seems like all of his albums over the years top the charts and go platinum, and when he releases a new single, you can't leave your house without hearing it. Clearly, he's among the world's best selling music artists with over 170 million records sold. Drake holds multiple Billboard chart records, such as the most charted songs of any artist in the history of the Billboard Hot 100 and more. He also has four Grammys under his belt and countless other awards, including AMAs, Billboard Awards, and Junos. Not to mention, he also managed to turn his brand over. Video, October's very own, into his own record label, a clothing line, and more. Considering all of Drake's crazy success, the man is worth an estimated $150 million currently and ranked number five on Forbes' list of the richest rappers last year. He's also the youngest one on that list by 10 years. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We already did a Drake house tour on the channel a while back, but I felt like it was time for a refresh. We're gonna be taking a look at Drake's real estate, including his main man mansion in Toronto he showed off in his new vid and much more. If you like these videos make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Tyler Perry and Post Malone and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> Although the video for 2C Slide starts out showing the quiet streets of downtown Toronto, it quickly moves into a tour of Drake's Bridal Path Mansion. Clearly, this is where Drake is holed up during this global pandemic and he even rocked a mask so people know he's following the quarantine rules. We'll kick things off by looking at his main mansion. In the first minute of the music video, we can see the giant hallways and entryway that's literally marble from top to bottom. Not to mention there are high ceilings and unique chandeliers. Drake's mega mansion is located in the Bridal Path neighborhood of Toronto which is known to be super fancy, even being called the Billionaire's Row of Canada. Not to mention this city doesn't offer many other places with such big plots of land. Apparently Drake bought the land back in 2016 for 6.7 million and he got it constructed from the ground up, which took years. The man wanted ultimate privacy so he even went the extra mile to get super high fences, which needed the city's approval, Blog Tio reported. The rapper had to submit a request to the city earlier this summer to be exempt from the bylaw that states no residential fence can exceed two meters in height. A representative for Drake said the request was made over safety concerns of people trying to break in and the North York Community Council agreed to allow fences of up to 4.4 meters on the property. Drake's mansion spans over 35,000 square feet of living space and sits on more than two acres of land. He hired architect Ferris Rafali to help create his dream home who's the same man behind Drake's members only club at the Air Canada Centre Share Club. The 20 foot trees that Drake had planted around his entire property so it would fit in with the neighborhood hood cost over 1 million alone. After all the work that was put into building this place, it now has an estimated value of 100 mil. On the main floor, there's a two level hallway, double height walls, a party area and much more. One living area that's shown in the video has a huge fireplace, a piano room on the side and then leads to the massive kitchen and dining room. Kitchen is super modern with a large marble island in the center and the long dining room table has couch style seating on one side which I love. Drake's master suite has its own wing of the house which alone is twice the size of your average apartment. Aside from his huge bedroom, he has a spa bathroom with a steam shower, hot tub, kitchenette, two dressing rooms, and two covered terraces. His mansion has four guest rooms as well, which are located in the guest wing of the house, of course. Other features inside Drake's custom mansion include an awards room, a basketball memorabilia room, a home gym, a movie theater, a snack room, a music lounge, and an elevator in case you're too tired to use the stairs. Even the bathrooms are impressive in Drake's palace. One of the high-tech toilets can play relaxing music while you're using it. Not to mention being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake has an NBA regulation sized basketball court inside his home. It's a custom OVO court, obviously. Oh! 
the new music video, we also get to see Drake's Olympic size indoor swimming pool, which is gorgeous. He has special lighting to set the mood, mirrored walls, seating around the pool, and more. An indoor pool is good for most of the year in Canada, so I get why he needed that. But for those few months of warm weather we actually have, outside the home, Drake has another massive outdoor pool. His multi-million dollar estate also offers a 10-car garage and spacious driveway to hold his luxury car collection, which we'll look at soon. If Drake's Toronto Palace isn't enough, don't forget he owns a compound in Los Angeles, located in the celeb-loved exclusive neighborhood of Hidden Hills. Drake owns a few neighboring properties there. The main home, which Drake has also previously called the Yolo Estate, was purchased back in 2012 for almost $8 million and sits on almost three acres of land. Inside, the mansion spans 12,500 square feet and has six beds and ten baths. He spent years reconstructing this home to be his masterpiece. There are a ton of epic features inside the home like a gorgeous library, games room, massive wine cellar, fitness center, spa and massage room, and 25 seat movie theater. There's also a revolving bookshelf just like the movies which leads to Drake's master bedroom. Outside he has a swimming pool complete with a grotto, waterfalls, a wet bar, TVs, and an 80 foot slide, multiple sports courts, and even a mechanical bull. Sounds like quite the space to entertain. In recent years, Drake also purchased two neighboring properties to this estate, turning it to one big compound all for himself. In 2016, it was reported he paid just under $3 million for a 1950s ranch style house across the street, and another in 2018. The most recent purchase was somewhat of a fixer upper, but Drake still paid about $4.5 million for the place, which spans 2,500 square feet. All these properties combined allowed Drake to take up about 6.7 acres in the San Fernando Valley. Before we wrap this video up, let's take a look at that epic car collection Drake keeps at his Toronto home. He's definitely proud of all his luxury cars, and the list is long, so I can see why. First of all, Drake owns a super rare Bugatti, the Veyron Sang Noir, and only 12 were ever produced. Some reported he sold this one, but either way, it would have cost him upwards of $2 million. Of course, he has a few Bentleys, one of which is a Bentley. Of course, he has a few Bentleys, one of which his Bentley Continental GTC was infamous for being in his Started From The Bottom music vid. He also has a Bentley Mulsanne. Tony Bed of Driving Emotions Toronto posted Drake's rare Mercedes Maybach G650 on Instagram and had a bunch of poppy balloons on it just for him. There were only 99 of these models ever made, so it's no surprise it cost Drake over over a million dollars. He also has another kind of Mercedes Maybach, which is the S600 Pullman, and I'm gonna assume he uses this one with a chauffeur. Another car Drake likes to use with a driver is a classic in any celebrity car collection, a Rolls Royce Phantom worth 800K. He also has some other super expensive wheels, including a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, Lamborghini Gallardo, a LaFerrari Ferrari, a McLaren, a Brabus 850 Bit Turbo Coupe, and more. You know Drake has a crazy car collection after hearing all of that, considering it's actually worth millions. Which is your fave? I think the Mercedes Maybach G650 is mine. So now we've seen more of Drake's Toronto mega mansion, it looks to me like more of a palace than a house. Even when he premiered his new vid for Tusi Slide, some fans see more focus on the fact that he's showing off the inside of his house than the song. But it's enough to make anyone feel poor, that's for sure. Now that we have some actual footage of what the inside of Drake's place looks like, what did you guys think? Too over the top or perfect? Okay guys, now read out some comments from previous videos. On our Linda generous house tour Cheryl Maybury wrote, I love that pool but not the house, life in a fishbowl, all that glass. I love drapes adds a lot of warmth to a home. And Melinda Wang commented on her Ariana Grande house tour from a while back saying, This is actually her real house, you're not lying, OMG cause I saw this kind of kitchen from her Instagram, she did a video where her puppy was standing on her kitchen too. Good job on this video, I thought this was a lie. Thanks Melinda, I'm glad you liked it. Alright guys, that's all I got on Drake's Toronto Mansion, I think we have a pretty good idea of his current quarantine situation and how the man is living and it's fancy as hell. Not to mention he has a compound in LA too. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!